dear sisters and brothers in Christ why did the son of god become man why did jesus come to this world what did jesus want to achieve by his mission is it not that he had come to bring peace that is to bring about greater understanding between men and men and thus achieve peace but there are different answers to this question in the gospels in today's gospel passage jesus himself responds to these questions the passage is luke chapter 12 verses 49 to 53 he says i came to bring fire to the earth and how i wish it were already kindled i have a baptism with which to be baptized and what stress i am under until it is completed do you think that i have come to bring peace to the earth no i tell you but rather division this is chapter 12 verses 49 to 51 but we cannot think that the purpose of jesus coming is exhaustively presented in these statements at the same time we cannot in any way downplay the importance of these words of jesus they are to be taken in all seriousness in fact there are other statements which jesus said about the intention of his coming those are perhaps better known he said i have come to call not the righteous but sinners to repentance luke chapter 5 verse 32 he also stated for the son of man came to seek out and to save the lost luke chapter 19 verse 10 truly an essential element of jesus coming was to show compassion to sinners and thus lead them to god jesus is full of mercy and kindness we can see this in chapter 7 verse 36 to 50 of luke but that did not mean to justify everything to abolish the distinction between good and evil and put everything in the same plane his intention was not to create tranquility and peace by a general compromise on all levels he says that he has come to bring fire on earth and he wishes that the fire burn strongly now this fire has been explained with reference to the holy spirit at least as it is there in the acts of the apostles chapter 2 verses 3 and 4 divided tongues as of fire appeared among them and a tongue rested on each of them all of them were filled with the holy spirit jesus brought the holy spirit and it was his wish that all be filled with the holy spirit but this fire has also been interpreted in terms of judgment which we see in chapter 3 verse 17 of this gospel It says his winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his granary but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire therefore we cannot limit the interpretation of this fire in terms of one or the other these interpretations both have to be taken in unison Jesus sees the whole of his ministry in terms of the nature of fire Jesus acts having been filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the fullness of divine life. Jesus proclaims the good news to the poor. He talks of divine compassion to sinners. By these acts, Jesus wants that the work of the Spirit of God be spreading all over like a wild fire. In fact, no one can stay indifferent having heard the message of Jesus. Jesus' message cannot be heard without any reaction. The message of Jesus is to produce its effects. It demands response, whether positive or negative. The ones who met with Jesus and heard his message could be filled with the Holy Spirit. Everyone who rejected the message of Jesus or refused to meet Jesus was standing before a judgment. Such a person was confronting judgment. He or she would not be able to come out of it easily. To meet Jesus really meant to be ready for crucial changes this is because goodness and evil cannot go together it means that the struggle or the fight between good and evil will become stronger in a person who encounters jesus he or she will not have peace he or she will be restless in such a person the peace or silence of the cemetery will not prevail 
history has proved this fact very clearly all who really follow jesus cannot sit back in tranquility the essential part of jesus life here on earth was constituted of his passion death and resurrection he had foretold of it to his disciples but they had not understood the import of it until he had risen from the dead this conclusion of his life was a baptism with which he was baptized but this conclusion of jesus life was not something which came across to him accidentally or casually it was indeed the culmination of his life and ministry as destined by the father and as foretold by the prophets in fact that is the story itself of old testament prophets the first reading of today presents that the first reading is jeremiah chapter 38 verses 4 6 and 8 to 10 because jeremiah had foretold the truth and proclaimed the word of god he was thrown into a waterless cistern this is the story of a person who had received the spirit and acted accordingly the spirit had burned high in jeremiah so also the passion and death of jesus were the consequences of the spirit burning high in the heart of jesus the second reading that is hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 to 4 also speaks to the internal struggle of a christian verse 4 is quite significant here it reads in your struggle against sin you have noted resisted to the point of shedding your blood at the birth of jesus the angels had sung glory to god in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors chapter 2 verse 14 of luke jesus himself wishes peace to the forgiven sinner woman and the woman healed chapter 7 50 and 848 of luke and the disciples who were sent in mission had to wish peace to the house they would enter this was one aspect of jesus ministry but in the context of the meeting with evil or injustice it would turn out to be a struggle a real meeting with jesus cannot but end up in a struggle as the forces of evil are rampant such a struggle can create divisions division among parents and children everyone who accepts the message of jesus or the person of jesus has to necessarily make choices which may be contrary to the preferences which are common and usual and to the world and there the struggle starts either one is pro or contra jesus such a struggle will be like the fire burning in all strength dear friends to accept jesus or his message means to let the spirit of god work in us when the spirit of god works in us it will be like the fire that burns within us it will lead to strong struggle with evil at times the cost of such a choice or struggle will be very great but that will be valued very much by god amen